Hello, uh, good morning to everyone. In this session, I'd like to introduce you the user interface of ArcGIS uh, 10.8, uh, specifically uh, the ArcMap uh, of uh, ArcGIS 10.8. Um, just for the information, um, the user interface will look almost the same for any kind of uh, ArcMap uh, starting from ArcGIS 10.1. Uh, so as long as if it is uh, ArcGIS 10, the ArcMap uh, user interface should be looking same. Um, let us uh, move on with the introduction to user interface. The whole bank that you can see over here is called as the data frame. Data frame, D-A-T-A-F-R-E-M-E. Uh, towards the left one, you can see table of uh, contents. Um, towards the top side, you can see the uh, you can see two, two different kinds of bar. First one is menu bar, and the second one is uh, toolbar. If you look at menu bar, we have uh, basically those uh, basic uh, standard applications that we have in any kind of uh, applications. We have got file where we can open a new one, op uh, open a new one, or open the old one, save, uh, print, uh, export map. Those kind of uh, menu and options are there in menu bar. Uh, let us look at edit where we have got do and do and all. Then let us look at view. We have got uh, data view, layout view. We have got all the things even in the refresh here just to view different kinds of uh, uh, dialog box and interface. We have bookmark. We have got insert. Uh, this is specifically important for inserting any object and specifically important for um, uh, cartography or finishing the map that we have worked with. We'll see this in a while. Um, then this is selection where we um, select our data looking at attribute or location or any graphics or any uh, query that we are making. This is job processing, uh, specifically used for, for data management and uh, editing as well as um, a creation of new data. There are uh, about 200 to 400 uh, tools in uh, ArcMap and six to seven tools are being used most of the time and these are most important uh, processing tools like Buffer, Clip, Intersect, uh, Union, Merge, and Dissolve. These are one of those uh, few tools that are being used uh, frequently by ArcMap and by GIS professionals. That's why it's uh, kept by default as the uh, shortcut in the job processing. Uh, then we have uh, in uh, slightly beneath the job processing, then we have uh, Arc Toolbox, where these tools are basically uh, hidden in Arc Toolbox. So we have about uh, 200 to 300 uh, tools uh, hidden in Arc Toolbox. Uh, going to customize, uh, this is also one of the menu bar, very important where uh, we have options for toolbar to uh, display or to add on toolbar or not. These are basically different kinds of tools. So right now we have got two tools on the toolbar. Those are standard and tools toolbar. So for this one, um, uh, we can either check to add or uncheck to remove. Then we have got second option is uh, extension where uh, where we can uh, basically check or uncheck those extensions that we need. For now, we may not be needing uh, very complicated extensions like special analyst, but uh, later if we are doing some analysis in, uh, in GIS, then we need to check this one. So this gives some uh, administration right to carry out a special analyst. Uh, we could even check a geostatistical analyst because we may need some statistics uh, uh, permission to be done in ArcMap. So you can check or you can uncheck for now, but uh, definitely I'll just check special analyst for now. But later, uh, if your um, analysis are not working, if your tools are not working, then you may want to get back to the analyst and check those uh, check boxes. Like, um, then we have got windows over here, uh, displays uh, different kinds of uh, windows that may, that we may require. 
for example, table of contents, uh, catalog, search window, and all. Then we have help, where uh, you can either go to uh, offline uh, help text over here, and if you have internet connection, then we can even search through uh, web help lab. Um, this is about menu bar, and on the toolbar we have uh, we have tools attached here. So right now I have only two tools attached here because these are two tools which are commonly being used: uh, standard toolbar and tools toolbar. You can also add a toolbar by going to customize on menu bar, going to toolbar, and these are arranged in alphabetical order. So you know. You can also add, sorry, you can also add two bars like uh, uh, if you want to remove it from two bar, we can uncheck so standard has been removed. If you want, if you do not want even the tools two bar, we can uncheck. But if you want it, we can again check it back. So standard and Tools toolbar. You can also do this by going to drop down uh, towards the right side of the tools by going to drop down, by going to customize, and by going to uh, checking of the standard or tools. If you check, it uh, it's it's getting removed. If you uncheck, if you check, then it's getting added. Um, so these are the different toolbars here. Um, then, um, uh, if you look towards the right bottom corner, we have got skills or we have got units over here. Since we do not have anything uh, displayed right now, so the unit is unknown right now. Um, then, towards the left corner, we have uh, two views. One is layout view, one is data view, that is what we are seeing right now, and one is uh, layout view, that uh, we can... Uh, Layout view is specifically useful for finishing our map and exporting our map. Data view is specifically useful for um, viewing, editing, analyzing, managing, and creating new data. So all the modeling and analysis are are be are to be uh, done in data view. And um, layout view is specifically meant for finishing or to cartography. Then towards, uh, slightly towards uh, the view options, we have got refresh lab. For example, if sometimes if uh, your analysis or modeling are getting hung up, you can always refresh over here. Or if you want to pause, like, you can pause your drawings. Like. And like I said, towards the left, it's table of contents. Um, table of contents, uh, main function is to see uh, different layers that we have added. Like. And when we are clicking uh, layout, uh, view layout toolbar automatically comes out and that shouldn't be a problem uh, you can even close it or you can just keep it like that even if you close it you may want to go to uh, toolbar options and you can uh, go to L layout and you can edit back left. so that's not a big problem I'd like to close right now so that's it on uh, the introduction to user interface um, this uh, is the latest uh, release of uh, the ASRI um, ArcGIS uh, 10.8.1 is released uh, in uh, July uh, 2020. So uh, we are using the latest one. Um, if I just talk on the history, um, it's uh, made by ASRI, and ASRI was founded in uh, 1969 by was known as uh, Jack Danger Moon and his wife uh, Laurel and uh, this is based in the United States and um, first version of uh, uh, first version of GI software made by IZ was uh, Arc Info and um, Arc GIs was later named after Arc Info uh, Arc Info was replaced by Arc GIs and uh, it was replaced in uh, uh, 1999, and first version of ArcGIS that was already ArcGIS 8 uh, came into the market. And since then, uh, we have got ArcGIS evolving. Uh, we have got ArcGIS 8, 9, and that's 10 right now. We are using 10 was launched in 2010, 
uh, after uh, ArcGIS 9.4, uh, uh, after uh, ArcGIS 9.4. So that's it on introduction to uh, ArcGIS.